Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on patterns. Students in kindergarten need to be shown different patterns. We need to explain to them that patterns tend to repeat over and over again. Since patterns have a repetitive element to them, we can show students how to predict the next term in a pattern. Explain to students what makes a pattern by showing them many examples. Now here's a very, very good little example for instance. You have a circle, square, circle, square, circle, square. Students will soon see the repetitive nature of the pattern involving the circles and squares and they'll be able to tell you that the next <coughs> shape is a circle. This example here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on, students will quickly recognise the above counting numbers that were introduced earlier. <coughs> the pattern is obvious. They're just the counting numbers and they keep increasing by 1. Another example, the same applies to the above letters of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And students in kindergarten would be starting to become familiar with the alphabet and they'll be able to predict what comes next. Patterns in real life. The knitting above shows a beautiful example of a repetitive pattern. You can see it. The patterns are obvious. The patterns existing in a brick wall would be very familiar to students and many of them would have their houses built from bricks. Students can be asked to look for patterns in the classroom. That's a beautiful way to do it here and you can see the patterns look on the ceiling. See that patterns on the ceiling. Some patterns here the way these are organized. Look at the stars here. There are just plenty of things. If you look carefully it's amazing what you can come up with. Even these lampshades here look the way the lamps are hanging down. They're all you know have very special shapes to them. The shape of the desks, the way the chairs are organized. There's just so much they can look at and discuss. Floor tiles can make a room look so attractive with various patterns. Look how beautiful and regular they are. The honeycomb is one of the most beautiful patterns in nature. The patterns to the right are just a few examples of the patterns existing in nature. This is one of the most beautiful patterns on the planet. It's amazing how these animals can actually construct this pattern. Here we've got what looks like a shell in a spiral form. This is a very special flower. I think it's a sunflower. And look at those beautiful patterns here. And here's another special flower also. So the video has just touched on patterns in the real world. And we've explained to students what actually makes a pattern, how it repeats itself, and that enables you to predict what comes next.